All right, in our last video, we spent a lot of time coming up with this monster, this uh, earliest and latest start times for every activity in our projects. We mentioned very briefly the minimum completion time would be this number at the end, the time it takes to finish the entire project. Okay, that's where the blue and red numbers, the uh, earliest and latest start times for this finish line must agree. Okay. Now, if we look at each individual activity, let's just say we look at D first. You notice that he could start on day three, but he could afford to wait until day seven without holding anyone up, without delaying the entire project. Okay, and so he could afford to wait for four days, and that's what we call the float time for D's activity. Okay, and so we can do the same simple calculation with just subtracting the blue and red numbers to find how long everyone can wait for, and we get all those float times in green there. Okay, now you might notice that there is this uh, path from the start starting point to the finishing point uh, where all the float times here are zero which means these are activities where you cannot afford to wait. And that sort of only makes sense, right? There can't be any point in time where everybody's sitting around waiting, okay? So someone's probably got an urgent task to do in order to finish as quickly as possible. Okay, and so there's always this chain of activities where nobody can afford to wait. Uh, there's zero float time the whole way through, and we call this the critical path. Okay. And in interpreting this and answering sort of more complicated questions surrounding this, I guess the main thing to keep in mind is that if you need to make any improvements to the whole project's completion time, you need to make those improvements on the critical path. Okay, so speeding up activity A or activity D doesn't make a difference. Okay, because the urgent chain of activities, the one that's going to be holding you back, is this critical path. Okay, so that's the place. Those are the activities to make those improvements. If you have extra resources to uh, lower the time spent on any activity, these activities are the ones to do it for. Okay, so that's critical path. And the rest of the details, I'm sure, we'll see in class. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.